This is another video about programming stuff, and today we're going to talk about um, dumping Atari 2600 uh, <coughs> cartridge with your Rich Rod 2. So, you already seen my video about the ad adapter for the uh, Viacho Boy. I'm going to put the uh, video here. Uh, but here, yeah, you, you have uh, uh, on the um, Rich Rod website a lot of uh, people making. Uh, like schematic and prototype for adapters but uh, you cannot have one for the uh, Atari 2600 so to make an adapt adapter um, you will use the Super Nintendo slots here uh, so you have to make a 1.2 millimeter thick uh, PCB so First, I wanted to uh, like reuse a shell, but the thing is, you will see later. Okay, even if you put it, it's fitting uh, perfectly. It's also uh, it it will also fit with the uh, super FX uh, shell, the one with the the ground tabs here, but. Um, well, it didn't turn quite well. You will see why. The first thing is, I've searched for the connector for the game, uh, for the PCB inside the game, but the thing is, as you can see, it's way too much bigger. Uh, so I've tried to have like 90 degrees, uh, but I couldn't source uh, Real, reliable uh, connector. Uh, this is this one is from DigiKey, so it was pretty easy to find. But yeah, it was like really uh, hard. Uh, I've, I've tried twice on eBay, on uh, sellers from Taiwan and China. One uh, didn't uh, s uh, ship them, and the other one I never received them. So. I had to use the one from uh, DigiK. So as you can see, it was really off, but um, I needed to find a way. So I made some patches. I call that I call them patches, which are uh, two PCB uh, from 1.6 millimeter uh, thick with castellated gear, and you install them right like that. As you can see, you have holes here which are uh, going to be um, for holding the PCB. You can see. And then I have like exactly, uh, not exactly, like I'm, I'm off from really half a millimeter, but it's working fine. So yeah, you will need uh, 10 millimeters high uh, and uh, M2 screw to hold them, but they have another purpose. If you look at uh, an Atari 2600 game, you can see like you have the uh, infamous tabs and uh, protection for the PCB, so you will have to uh, insert stuff here, and then you will have the PCB. Uh, access to the PCB there you go the thing is on the uh, the rich rod website uh, the original PCB um, uh, design uh, you can find them you can download uh, the eagle file you have the shape of the uh, of the connector but Again, you will have trouble to uh, find the good connector. So, after resolving the issue, the thickness with that, I needed to find the mechanical um, mechanical problem of the cartridge. So, I found uh, someone uh, on uh, I think it's uh, Hack Day. 
I'm not even sure. Um, I, don't, I can't remember his name. I will just put the description somewhere uh, of this project. It was a dumper uh, with an Arduino, if I'm not uh, if I'm not wrong, and he made he, um, the the same connector, the same physical connector, the two tabs uh, for this connector, like on the top of that. Uh, for his dumper. So I asked him to give me the STL so I could make my own uh, uh, my own connector uh, with that for the dumper. So this is what it looks like and you will see like it's working really nice no problem whatsoever and I can put the connector here. So after that, you have the two connectors here, or the two patches, more likely. So to uh, put them, you just like align them, you put the screw, which is going to hold them while you solder, and you remove the screw. You can put your connector and then you put this connector, this uh, not really shell, but uh, let's say this uh, the top. Oh my God, I'm going to cut at the top. There. So if you check on the profile, you will see like you have like um, um, it's not really centered. It's centered from there, from where the connector is going to be. But the front here is really more to have to give us uh, an orientation for the cartridge. So basically, you have to put this side on the front, where is uh, my logo and all the, the, the text, like it's, it's written here, retro front. So when you have that, you have like a fully assembled uh, adapter. So when you have your retract to you check the front orientation here and then you can put your cart on the top and it's working just fine so um, from my test I don't have uh, like a name on the ROM file but the dump I have made from a uh, missing commander is working just fine on, ad on adapter so after that I was saying, okay, I have my adapter. Everything is working great. Uh, it's really sturdy. Um, like the connector, um, the mechanical force you're going to exert when you plug and uh, unplug your cart is fine because I have screw. So I choose to make one there and one there. So it's uh, on both sides. Um, most of the force you exert are on the PCB. Uh, the, the the load is spread on the on the on the on the plastic shell here, and uh, the screw are really uh, helping to have something sturdy and pushing on the top of the of the of the of the adapter and not like pulling or uh, making any force on uh, the soldering and even if it try remember you have you have the screw here to help everything uh, to to hold together so the last part was uh, I wanted to make a shell uh, for that so I had uh, like uh, old uh, and really yellowish uh, card for Super Nintendo uh, I don't have the PCB the PCB was dead but I kept the shell for this kind of experiences. And as you can see, you have to remove like half of the shell if you want to use it. So basically, it's, uh, when you're using a Super Famicom or, uh, or a European Super Nintendo, you have like to remove the, uh, uh, at the uh, uh, stickers, like uh, the, the, the the, the height of the stickers and on the back is like uh, where is my I don't have my calipers but it's uh, basically um, yeah, hang on less than uh, five centimeters 
uh, in freedom units it's uh, yeah uh, one it one inch and a half I think it's uh, well I don't know I hate I hate that I hate inches so something with uh, more sense it's a uh, four 4.8 or 4.7 centimeters uh, but anyway I, I don't think this is really something viable so okay it's it's kind of cool I would say but if you're doing that you're going to have like empty space here and you're going to sacrifice uh, even if it's like a third partition this one is the one that you don't have screw you just clips that even if you're doing that it's like not really viable so maybe making um, a trolley printing shell but honestly I don't think it's worth the trouble so I'm going to have 10 of this adapter I don't think I'm going to keep one for me uh, just both this uh, game I don't have actually an Atari um, at home but uh, yeah you're going to have like 10 of them on my store and of course I'm going to publish everything uh, on github uh, everything will be on the description yeah I, I, I don't think you need a, an explanatory to how to assemble it's pretty straightforward you put the uh, adapters with the screw to hold your solder here you need to have like contact like that it's really easy uh, and then you solder your connector you 3d print uh, this one again this the stl file is going to be on the description you put that you put the screw and that's it you will have to put like 21 resistor it's uh, uh, 100 ohms and um, maybe well you can simplify and put array but it's really easy uh, to put them so yeah i don't think it's worth an, uh, a video assembly but anyway i already talked too much uh, i'm going to put that on the, the uh, store and um, yeah if you want to to make this one uh, i'm going to put all the description on github this pcb must be uh, the contact must be at least on enig uh, if you want like the cheaper uh, solution uh, 1.2 millimeter thick those two you can uh, find somewhere like osh park is going to make the castellated dia um, 1.6 millimeter for both going to put description for the connector at digikey m2 screw 10, 10 millimeters i think 12 is slightly too uh, high but at least 10 and that's it so yeah uh, hope the it's a really quick video i hope you like it thanks for watching and i'll see you soon